And welcome back to this special edition of Newsmaker Sunday, remembering the great Bart Starr. Local 5 Sports Director Burke Griffin joins us now. Uh, Burke, you've been covering this team for two and a half decades. I know, right? It seems weird. Just about when you hear the name Bart Starr from your perspective, what do you think of? Well, class, first of all. Great human being, second of all. And also a great football player. But you have to figure, Tom, that people my age, 50 years and, and younger, we only know Bart as a guy who was a coach when we were a kid. And unfortunately, that was the late 70s and 80s when the team was in that very down. Yeah, not the best of times. Not the best of times at all. So we don't remember him as a player unless you watch NFL films. And I think if you have an appreciation and a love for the Packers and the green and gold, you've seen Super Bowl one and two, and even maybe back to the 61 and 62 championship season, 65 even. So. It's kind of different because we only know him historically through the old great Packer wins under Lombardi and the things we saw with our very own eyes were those teams that just were not very good in the late 70s and early 80s. Where do you put him in the list of the great names? You, you gave me some earlier today. You got Starr, Rogers, Brett Favre, Brady, Johnny Unitas. Well, those, the three in, in Packer Nation are obviously Bart, Brett, and Aaron. Right. There's no question about it. But then when you look at the comparisons and you start to really think about who matches up with who, Bart had five championships in seven years with some great teams, obviously one of the greatest coaches of all time. So the parallel for me would be more of Tom Brady. Didn't put up the gaudy oh, yeah. numbers, but he was a guy who got the job done. Definitive leader in crunch time. Two Super Bowl MVPs. 9-1 and one record during the postseason. And, and more impressively, during that era, still to this day has the best completion percentage for a quarterback in playoff history. That is saying something. He also has two MVPs. Sorry, but Brett and Aaron don't. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. and they only have one Super Bowl win each. And I say only, granted, it's a great accomplishment. But, uh, you know, Johnny Unitas was the guy who chucked it, you know, so he's more of the Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers kind of guy. Um, so I would compare him to the modern-day Tom Brady. There's, it took Tom, what, almost two decades to get six rings. Where but, he is. But Bart also had, I mean, when you look at the Hall of Famers that were, he was surrounded by, just an amazing football player and leader, more importantly. I got about a minute and a half here. You uh, had some personal interaction with Bart along the way. Just a little bit. You know, a guy my age, I, I interviewed him not only as a cameraman, but also with the microphone in yeah. hand. Kind and genuine, and every story you've heard about him was probably even greater. You know, it, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Like, this is Bart Starr, and he wants to, I'm a little punk kid with a camera <laughs> on my shoulder, and I'm 25 years old. And, and an, the only other sports figure that I can remember that was that humble, but yet respectful and wanted to actually know something about you was the late, great Walter Payton. I met him one time with our old sports director, Larry McCarron, and even Larry was like, hey, what, that's Walter, you know, that's, that's the greatest of all time, because he was right. back then, and he was kind of the same way. And, and it doesn't surprise me that the kind of love that surrounds those two people, and, and Bart was just one of a kind. And, and we saw that in Thanksgiving night when he came back, when Brett Favre, the ceremony, Bart, Aaron, Brett, together, one final time. A look behind the curtains. Thank yeah, you, Bart. Absolutely. Perfect. Much appreciated. Uh, this afternoon, by the way, a celebration of life is going to take place in Birmingham, Alabama. It is called Celebrating the Legacy of Bart Starr. It begins at 3 o'clock at the Wright Center. That's located on the campus of Samford University. Packers president and CEO Mark Murphy says the team is going to honor Bart Starr with a public event, and that's going to happen uh, near the time of a home game this Packers season. And those who want to honor Bart Starr can make a donation to the Bart and Cherry Star Foundation or to a charity of their choosing. And that is our show for right now. We thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.